Welcome to Cisco DNAC Canon channel. So this video we will talk about how Cisco DNAC helps the network administrator to run a diagnostic commands to a device from a Cisco DNA center. So once you log in with the administrator, username and password, then come back to one of the tools called command runner so allows you to run a diagnostic CLI commands against one or more devices so you click here should it will take you to the command runner tools so there are many ways you can access these command runner tools you can click here tools and command runner page So it will take you to the command runner tools. So one more way is you can come and come here to the search button, click command to take you to the command runner tools. So there are many ways you can run the Cisco DNA central tool called command runner. So uh, this command, this command runner will come as applications, in the Cisco DNA Center. So you can see these applications here, system settings, this uh, command runner is used to run your diagnostics commands from DNA Center to the devices. Click here software updates and click here installed apps. So you see here this command runner. This is applications. So the command runner provides you the capability to run executive read only commands. So we cannot use this tool to configure the CLA commands to the devices. Or run the debugging commands here so it will straight away shows you the error if this command is not supported if it's any commands is not supported from the Cisco DNA center so this applications really helps the user does not log into the device to execute this command so they can use the Cisco DNA center to use it so we'll go back to this command runner So this command runner is really helps the network administrator to debug the diagnostics. So you can search by devices by IP. You can mouse over it will say it supports 20 devices can be selected at a time. This command is not supported for the Meraki devices and EAPs are not supported. So if it's not supported, it will list down. So I click here. So I have a 5520 Cisco wireless controllers here. I select the controller. If I select this so access points, it says unsupported device list. They cannot run commands and access points. So it will show you here which are the command, which are the devices not supported for this, this command runner. Suppose you want to select a two devices here. Which is so I have selected two controllers here. Suppose you want to search any device. It will show here. You can select this device. So here, two devices are selected here. So so double and summary. So you need to click here and add the command here. So, so interface. So so 
So if you wrongly type any mistype the commands so while executing it will show that uh, uh, error specifically to that. So I have wrongly included one of the commands to show you the difference here. So if you okay, config double line create create two hundred so click here try to add it so it will show the pop of the error this command is not supported so if you try to use any of the commands it is not supported it will show the error this command is not supported so it, it will show you straight away so the command is not supported so you run these commands now click here so it's, it's showing the executive status so 50 percentage still 50 percentage to go for other devices to run so here says this is this commands fail to execute so it's showing us a, a failed mark here so here three commands fail here so if you want to see the output of these commands you can click here so you'll see the output of these commands here if you want to export this CLA output you can click here so you also interface summary you will see this interface what are the interfaces configured here suppose if you want to export these commands yeah, output also you can export it here so this is this command due to this typo error not executed properly it shows this is command not executed this command uh, it failed to execute because this is uh, uh, the controllers have five simultaneous connections for SSH on telnet so here already some somebody has used this telnet SSH so it's a peer closed by remote power is showing here so if you want to go back you can go back to this uh, previous page here so this is how the Cisco DNS really helps to uh, see the CLI output from DNS Cisco center to really from the not logging into the devices you can see the output here So currently it supports only read-only CLI commands. It doesn't support any configuration or debug commands here. Thanks for watching.